Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at the watch window in Excel. A nice feature that allows you to keep an eye on other portions of your worksheet or workbook when you're managing your data and you want to see how it affects other areas of your information. So let's see how to use the watch window in Excel. So here I have a couple groups of expenses here, my travel expenses, my marketing expenses. And it's very simply set up, quantity times rate gives you a total. There's a total for the travel expenses and another total for marketing expenses. So we can see about 20000 here, 41000 there. And now these are linked to a separate worksheet. Here's the travel expenses, here's the marketing expenses, and how those change will impact the total expenses and the net income. So if I'm over on my travel expense and marketing expense worksheet, and I change my mileage to say 25,000, and I hit enter, I can see this one up 5,000, but if I want to see how it affected my net income, I'd have to go over to a different worksheet and see that my income went down from what was 14,000 before down to 9,149. But if that income sheet is maybe multiple worksheets away, or this information is hundreds or thousands of rows away from the data that you're working on, or maybe even in a total other workbook, it's difficult to have to keep going back and forth between those areas to see how the entry of one impacts the information on another. I'm going to go back and change this to 20,000 that we had before. So now we're back to our 14,149. So an option that Excel provides is called the watch window. So if we go up to the formula tab, towards the right you'll see the option for watch window. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that and this dialog box pops up where I can add a watch or delete a watch. So since I have none in my watch window, I'm going to select Add Watch, and this pops up where I would enter the information I want to add. So I'm going to click over here, and I'm going to select my net income, and notice it put equals watch2, which was the name of my worksheet, cell C10 and I'll say add and notice it populates this watch window with that information it tells me the book it comes from watch window the sheet watch 2 the cell what the value is and what the formula is in that cell so now when I make a change here to 25,000 as soon as I hit enter, I can see my value drop from 14,149 to 9,149. I can add an additional one if I want. Let's say I'll select Add Watch, and I'll go over to my watch window, and I'll select my total expenses as the other item I want to keep an eye on. I'll say Add, and again, now I have both of them there. Now, this can remain a floating object, or I can move it up above my formula bar and notice it will get docked there as I'm working on my data, so I don't have to have that floating window there, maybe interfering with other information that I might want to be visible. Again, I can collapse my ribbon a little bit to give me a little more room, or again, I can hover over till it turns into that four-sided arrow, and now it becomes a floating object again, and I can continue to work and view it that way. The other thing you might want to consider is naming your cells to make it easier to remember what each one of those is. So if I go over to my Watch 2 worksheet, I click in the total, go up to my name box, and I type total expenses and hit enter and then go to net income and type net underscore income hit enter notice it puts those labels into the name column so again I know exactly what those values represent and it's easy for me to keep track when I'm making any changes with my data that I'm working on
And this can also work when you're linking or want to watch information in a separate workbook. The only caveat to that is both workbooks must be open in order for you to see the watch window information. If the information that you're watching is in a separate workbook and you close that workbook, this information will go away. It'll just show up as blank. Now I can close this watch window. I'm going to go ahead and re-expand my ribbon here. And when I open it back up, go to the formulas tab, watch window, those items that I put in my watch window will remain. And when I close this workbook, as long as I save it, they will remain. If I don't want to view them anymore, all I need to do is select one or the other or all that I have there, click on delete, and that information now goes away. And if I click off the watch window up here, now that entire object will be removed. And that's how you can use the watch window option in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.